archery season here in Virginia. Uh, the cold front's been moving in. I'm down about close to an hour from where I live. But it snowed back up my way yesterday and the day before. I had to work mandatory overtime. And uh, when I was leaving, it was snowing. And I didn't, it didn't stick at the house, but up about 10, 15 minutes from my house, when the elevation gets a little bit higher, it covered the mountain. So, this is supposed to be, yesterday and today, is supposed to be really good days for deer movement. Um, it's in the 30s. Northwest wind. It's kind of switching around right now, but maybe after it gets good and daylight, it'll kind of settle down. Um, it's been a full moon, so the deer have been moving a bunch at night. We might not see too much action early this morning, but we're going to hang in here until later in the day. They're supposed to move. Hunt stand's got it predicted for him to move on up towards the middle of the day. But, hopefully they will. We'll just have to see. Hopefully we can make a connection with a good buck or a decent doe. Y'all stick with me. I'm just gonna chill out in this maple. I'm sitting in and hopefully we can make something happen. Definitely want a monster, but uh, I was going to let him.
same color, but I won't say. I mean, it's a decent buck. Uh, God, I wish I could have got the camera on him. But I'm not very far off the ground as high as I'd want to be. Just because this maple wouldn't allow it. But, uh, I don't know. He was about seven yards. There's my stand. Uh, I mean, as you can see, it's not. I'm about 12 foot, anywhere from 11 and 12 foot off the ground. I could got up a little bit higher, but some of them limbs was kind of in the way just a little bit. But anywho, he come when he come by this tree. He come right up this little road bed. This old road bed that's kind of cut in here. And when he got, he got right in here, he cut up towards this locust. And I thought, yeah, you know, if he goes on up to there, I'm just gonna let him go. But he cut right out this way. You can see right here where he kicked up. Yeah, right here. As you can see, he was right about, 
I usually ride about close to 10 yards. But I seen blood. I mean, he, he jump kicked and blood was coming out right from the beginning. So I'm getting on up towards where he stopped. Yeah, he was bleeding. Yeah, right here is where he stopped and stood for a little bit. Go ahead and just chill out right here. Um, give it a little longer. Look at this blood. And uh, my arrow, it fully penetrated, but it didn't come out of him. It, it, uh, Fletchings was out one side and the broadhead was out the other. So I'm gonna probably look around and see if I can find my arrow right around here. I didn't see if it ever flung out of him anywhere through here, but. In here in just a little bit we'll uh, begin tracking all right so it's getting close to an hour since i shot this deer uh, i watched my footage back just to see and make sure where he went because i know he cut down the hill but i don't remember seeing him hop all this junk so i watched the footage back while I was sitting there where I first found that big pile of blood and I remember he trotted out the hill just a little bit more while I was getting the camera ready and on him. And as you can see, he stood right here and poured blood for a hot minute and then he took off down this way. I made it all this way before he broke my hair out. It is red, red, red. Now I've got to look. You know, this ain't the end you really want to find. You want to find the end that's got that expensive piece of metal on it. Oh, and looky there. I know that crashing stops not far up through here. made a better shot than I thought. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Sorry about that, y'all. I uh, got a little excited because I thought I hit him just a little bit further back than what I did. But uh, I got excited when I seen that exit one. And now I will say I got the bank and I watched my footage back <laughs> and I realized I called it a little basket rack eight, but he is a little six, but I'm, I'm, I mean, look at Hilly's pretty. I like that swoop he's got going. He's got good brows and good tines. Uh, ooh, I know my buddy I lease this with. <laughs> I think he sent me a video of this buckle or they even said future stud and well it could have been <laughs> but <laughs> he ain't now <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy cleaned up I'm gonna look for I, look, I looked for a little bit for my broadhead back up there where I found the fletchings in the top half of my shaft I mean, you look, you look at the length of my arrows, there's another half that should be that bright red with a broadhead on it. Now I just ain't, and it should have just slipped out his low side because that's the, 
because I mean I hit you know it had a pretty good angle in it so it I'm kind of shocked I haven't seen it so he come down this way it should be up on I'm gonna look around a little bit more see if I can find my broadhead it's okay if I don't but any money saved is good we'll be back in just a second I appreciate y'all for watching I mean I can't can't thank y'all enough you know it's i love seeing the views go up on my videos and the channel grow and people enjoying my content and i'm by no means a content creator i just film what i love doing and luckily there's millions of people out there that enjoy it too but hopefully here in the next couple of days we'll be back in the woods and be looking us to looking to bust us a doe and uh Hopefully I'll have y'all along for the ride. Y'all stick with me. It's just the start of the season. It's going to be a good year.